Sexual assault is unacceptable. In the military, it adversely affects mission readiness, and the Navy is committed to preventing it. Chief of Naval Operations Admiral Jonathan Greener recently discussed the steps the Navy is taking to eradicate sexual assault and educate sailors on the issue. We need to be sure people understand the importance of this sexual assault challenge. We've had great, great success in the, um, in the Great Lakes region and in San Diego on some initiatives uh, on proper climate and a proper environment that would tend to discourage sexual assault and the occasions that can lead to it. We're going to extend those fleet-wide. Greenard added that leaders are responsible for creating an environment where sailors are safe from sexual assault and that all sailors are responsible for preventing sexual assaults. There's an accountability piece here. Our leaders are accountable for the climate and the safety uh, for their sailors. Our sailors deserve a safe environment to work in, and I insist on it, and we have to get there. And so these kind of clarifications will be spelled out there, and then we've got to execute. We've got to decide we're not going to have this anymore. All of us, we're all responsible, and our leaders are accountable. And it starts with me. The Navy has been focusing on getting to the left of sexual assault by holding a recent Navy-wide sapper stand-down and retraining all sapper advocates and recruiters. For more information about sexual assault prevention and response, go to sapper.navy.mil. You can also join the Navy's conversation about sexual assault on social media networks and help raise awareness by using hashtag NavySapper. From All Hands Update, I'm Petty Officer Brandi Wills.